All of you have watched the court proceedings of Johnny's defamation suit on Amber Heard. It went on for so long because our minds were not ready to believe that a woman can be so evil and toxic. There is a parallel going on in India. Ever heard about the Rishabh Pant or Rishi Rotela saga? No, it is not funny. Hi and welcome to TFI Post. I'm your host Vedika. If you're watching us on YouTube, Please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you're watching us on Facebook, do like, share and follow the page. Let's begin with the video report. So, Urvashi Rotela is in Mumbai, or should I say, her PR crew is. Recently, she posted a photo of Mumbai's Kokila Bay in Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital. It is the same hospital where the injured Rishabh Pant is admitted. The man has been airlifted for better treatment. He is in desperate need of some peace and time off from the 24-hour-long constant drama around celebrity status. Ideally, a celebrity should understand it. Urvashi Rotela is a celebrity, right? Yeah, she is not getting more movies like earlier but still has a formidable presence on social media. She should be according peace time to Rishabh Pan. But why should she? It is as if footage on her cryptic social media posts for Rishabh matters more than Rishabh's health. It all started last year. Earlier, there were rumours about both being in a relationship. Somehow, things didn't turn out well. News of Rishabh blocking Urvashi on WhatsApp surfaced and was cited as a declaration of end of relationship. Suddenly, in August 2022, Urvashi gave an interview where she said that a certain individual has waited 10 hours for her while she was sleeping. Meanwhile, she woke up with 17 missed calls from the gentleman. She named this person as RP. People quickly speculated that it was about Rishabh Pan. In response, Rishabh called her hungry for publicity. Then Urvashi responded with calling him Cougar Hunter. Things only went haywire from there. Then Rishabh Pant went to Australia and Urvishi followed. More than the game, people started to focus on Pant's alleged love-hate relationship with Urvishi. No one knows the intention behind it. If we have to judge the actions by the end result, it gave much-needed fame to Urvishi. Bollywood insiders know that any publicity is good publicity. PR agencies crank up minute things to get footage for actors and actresses. Media footage directly translates to money. It happened here as well. Netflix cashed in and collaborated with Urvashi Rotela for yet another cryptic video about her association with Rishabh. The video with Ryan Gosling is a pinned post on Urvashi's handle. Meanwhile, very few dared to care about Rishabh Pan's opinion in all this drama. When such things transpire, people generally refer to it as a victory for boys. Normally, it is them who are believed to be engaged in such stuff. It never crosses people's mind that in the day and age of equality, things are getting equal on all fronts, especially the bad boy phenomena. In the name of women empowerment, women are constantly told by corporate dollars that they should ape bad boys of society in order to get ahead in their life and career. Heavy drinking, drink and drive, smoking, road rage, Women are being told to do everything. In a recent podcast on ANI, renowned journalist Palki Sharma Upadhyay hinted about the existence of this phenomena in top brass of media too, which is why the majority of the 1.4 billion strong Indian population deserves condemnation. Very few have clearly named this phenomena as talking by Urvashi. Most of us are sitting in our blankets and enjoying the drama at the expense of Rishabh's dignity. He has clearly expressed his disapproval for it, but very few care. After all, a man's integrity is a joke for society. Every top-notch male celebrity knows it. He can't do anything because for our legal system, only men can stalk and not women.